Hi everybody, this is Kathy Q with the Google Minute. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Google Earth because this is going to take way more than a minute if you really want to learn how to use Google Earth. So there is a web version, so unlike um, the old Google Earth, which was Pro and you had to download it, now you and your students can access this right from Chrome. It is only available right now in Chrome. Um, however, I'm sure soon enough they'll be it'll be available in the other browsers as well. So I'm going to launch it. And today I'm just going to show you how to use Voyagers and what um, what that's all about. So sometimes it takes a minute, you know, to load if you haven't used it before. Um, so I'm going to go down here to Voyager, and when I click on it, it's going to bring up a menu. The scrolling is the editor's picks. Uh, then you have travel, nature, culture, education, history, and there are amazing things under, under each of those tabs. I have included in my email um, a Google slide presentation that I created for my Google Palooza, and if you need some help on how to use it in art or in um, history, I have laid out some different links for all the subjects at all grade levels. Um, so anyway, so you're here, you can take a tour and it brings you around the world and it, I sent one of my second grade students on a tour of the uh, Beatlemania because he loves the Beatles and it's right here and you just follow them on tour and um, he couldn't thank me enough at the end of class for letting him do that. So I really love the land art from above. I, I, that's the one that really got me excited about Google Earth and I haven't stopped exploring since. So it puts markers on the map and you can you go to you know the different sites it flies you right there and you can put it in 3D and if you hold down shift and click and drag um, you can shift the world and that, that only works on a Mac the if kids are using it on a Chromebook your shortcuts might be a little bit different so that you have to play around with it so you can see the face in there um, that's really cool and it gives you some information about it so if you go to the second one it'll automatically fly there if not this symbol here is to fly to that destination if you want to see it up close so you can zoom in zoom out or you can also just do that with your keypad okay. again you can hit 3d so this isn't one of my favorites, so how about I just skip right over to um, the ones that my students really love. And this is my favorite. This is like a artwork in the middle of the Sahara Desert that's like a hundred uh, million square meters. And it's amazing to think that people just took the time to create this and you wonder how much math and how many people and you know how much collaboration it took to make something like this um, so again you can tilt the world a little bit too much there the, your peg man you only can put him if some spot lights up in a light blue color that's and then you can drop him to do street um, view but that's not available in this tour all right, so this is the one that the kids usually just are amazed by. And it's just a corn maze um, in South Dakota. And once it loads up, and you can zoom in, and you can see how like perfect, perfectly aligned that all is. And you you know, you just it's just incredible. So there is something for everybody there. There's tours of New York. You can go on ancient ruin tours you can do anything so i really you know suggest just checking it out and seeing if you can find something for your students so you know what let your students check it out and let them show you what they've learned so if you want to know more about google earth just uh, drop me a line or uh, there's actually some videos and some information in the email so this is kathy keogh thanks for watching